When solving a system using linear combinations, there's a couple of things that you want to look for before you begin. The first thing is to make sure that both equations are written in standard form, and in this case, they both are, because they're in that form ax plus by equals c. The second thing that you want to look for is you want to make sure that you have a set of terms that are opposites between the two equations. So what I mean by that is if you look at the x terms between the two equations, you have a negative 3x and a 3x. So the coefficients, that negative 3 and that 3, are opposites of one another. Once you check to make sure that you have opposite terms, we can start the actual linear combination process. Now it's called linear combinations because we're actually going to combine these two equations together by adding them, like so. Now when we take negative 3x plus 3x, these are actually going to add to zero. Now that's why this is sometimes called elimination as well, because we're essentially eliminating the x variable from the equation. But it's not really eliminated, it's just adding to zero. So then what we're going to do is we're going to now go through and we're going to add those y terms. So we've got a positive 10y plus a negative 5y, and that's going to give us a positive 5y. We want to go through and we want to drop down our equal sign, keep everything kind of nice and aligned here. And then finally, we're going to take negative 41 plus our 16 and combine those like terms. And that's going to give us a negative 25. Now the last thing we need to do to solve for y is just divide both sides by 5, and we get y equals negative 5. Now just like with graphing and with substitution, you also need to find the value of the x as well, because you need both an x and a y, because remember, you're always kind of locating that intersection point, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the value for y, which is negative 5, and we're going to substitute it back into one of the equations. Now you can substitute it into either equation. It really does not matter. So I'm going to choose to substitute it in to the top equation. So we're going to substitute in negative 5 for the y value. And then we're just going to start working this out. So to start solving for x here, we're going to add 50 to both sides. That's going to give us negative 3x equals a positive 9. So then if we divide both sides by negative 3, we get x equals negative 3. And your final step is always to write that solution as a point. So the solution to this system would be negative 3, negative 5. And remember, you should always go through and substitute your point back in or your ordered pair back into both equations to make sure that you get true statements. That is a way to check to see if you solved your system correctly.